Andy Bumbata here for Cycle City, and today I'll be taking a look at the 2018 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special Anniversary Edition. Now, here's a couple of the regular anniversary editions, but the one I'll be riding is one of only 1900 made. More on that right after this. Building a strong America depends on having the right equipment. Hi, I'm Doc Bailey, a 30-year veteran providing cranes and bucket trucks, and we're the exclusive Link Belt Crane Distributor for the state of Hawaii and the Pacific. We service and provide OSHA inspections for everything we sell and rent, with locations in Honolulu, Oakland, and Las Vegas. So please contact us at 888-DOC-BAILEY or 888-DOC-BAILEY.COM. Welcome back. So, Harley-Davidson has been introducing um, a number of different models. I think there'll be 30 by the time they're done. Now, I'm gonna be riding number 392 of only 1900 made. Okay, so let's take a ride on this 2018 anniversary edition Harley-Davidson Street Glide Special. Yeah, it feels very street glide-esque. I'm going to go up here and then take a left under the viaduct. It's raining. I don't know if you can tell that. And so I'm going to try to go some places where there isn't any rain. The Milwaukee 8 with the uh, dual counterbalancing. Again, very little vibration. All the old school guys get on these bikes and go, you know, they don't vibrate enough. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but... I mean, you can feel it, like you look at, I don't know if you can see this shaking a little bit right there. That's the key fob, by the way. And the uh, lock, this lock locks the saddlebags, um, the, um, whatever, whatever it's called, ignition switch here, and the forks. So one key does all of that. I have to be honest, I like the regular keys better than the barrel locks, but I'm sure there's a reason they do it. I mean, I never have any problem with them, I just, I don't know. A key should look like a key. Am I being an old guy? Yeah, probably. By the way, uh, while we're sitting here at the light, the navigation on these things are amazing, and also, you can Bluetooth your phone straight to this. And if you put your phone in here, you have a USB port. I don't know if that's showing up there, but if you have an iPhone 6 Plus, it doesn't fit in there. <laughs> you have to take the foam out and do all this other stuff. Okay, turn signals. Typical Harley, left on the left, right on the right. Whoa, thank you, pal, for not changing lanes on me. Feels good. Typical street glide. You know, I think the people that would buy this bike aren't going to do anything to it. You know, that's what you do with an anniversary edition. You buy it, you know, it's kind of set up to say, hey, guess what? You know, this is find a ride but if you wanted to stick it on a shelf in your house that would be okay too okay now I got a little sprinkly rain here don't know how that's gonna affect the cameras man I like this satin denim blue paint whatever they call it really nice you know what it looks like it's raining more up here but again, you know, um, I've done um, reviews on these street glides, and this one um, is not that much different when it comes to the performance, the torque, the, you know, this is the 107, and, uh, oh man, a little bit of rain. I'm going to squeak down Sand Island Road here and see if I can run away from it a little bit. Smooth acceleration. I just love that little feedback that you get in the clutch. 
you know, on these uh, on these new hydraulic clutches with the transmissions that have that little extra something that they put in there so that it shifts better. You know, I've mentioned this before, but these street glides are such good around town bikes. You know, you don't <laughs> think of them like that. You think of them of, of, as bikes that you cruise long distance on and that's it. But, you know, I ride a 16 um, road glide now, which is very similar to this except the fairing. But once you get moving, and I, I mentioned once you get moving because in very, you know, inching along situations where you have your feet on the floor, for me, the, the bike tends to get a little heavy if I'm trying to do something, you know, precarious. Oh man, the water's coming off that fairing now. Don't know if you can see that. But it's not hitting me, <laughs> that's weird. So, you know, I've, I always, well, let's see if I can get through this yellow. Made it. Thank you, acceleration. I'm doing about 45, like everyone else in this area, officer, even though the speed limit is 35. Typical street glide performance, acceleration, and torque. All very good. And on the braking, anybody behind me? I'm going to do a little brake check here. Hold on. I'm at 45. I'm at pretty much zero. Yeah, that worked well. The ABS, standard on these, saved my bacon a few times on the road. I'll personally attest to that. You know, I don't know if it's my imagination, but this thing is really shifting smoothly. Um, I just found neutral, like, back first try. It might be my familiarity with the heel-toe shifter. Now here I'm at, I'm in 30, I'm at 30, and I'm in uh, third gear. Now, if I roll it on, see? Now I'm at 55, I mean, boom! That's what I like about these bikes. Now you can, I'm gonna go to fourth here, save a little gas. One of the things I like about these um, specials is they have the extended bags. Now that might not seem like a big deal, you know, the extended bags, but every once in a while you go, you know what, look, I'm fitting a little more in there than I'm used to. And I'm always carrying cameras and tripods and different things, so it means a lot to me. You know, I recently uh, rented a ultra limited right which is this has the street glide type fairing and the mirrors were on the handlebars and not on the fairing and i think i like them on the fairing better like this one is it just seems like it gives you a little more room up here see that's one of the things about the street glide if you come from a road glide the fairing seems very close well not very close but closer you know, the road glide, everything's a little further away. And of course, the fairing is on the chassis and not on the handlebars, like this street glide. Okay, I'm looking up there and we might have more rain than I feel like dealing with, so I think I'm gonna head back. Hmm? But I think someone would buy this because they want a limited um, edition. In other words, like I said, the it has the special paint and graphics on the seat. It says HDMC, and that's only on the anniversary editions. Now that's not exclusive to the numbered editions, but it is exclusive to the anniversary editions. I'm seeing the switches down here, you know, where the switches would go, so I'm guessing you could add, you know, running lights and other things, but I think this is a bike that you kind of buy and leave as is, you know, and say, hey, look, I've got a collector's edition Harley Davidson. A lot of big trucks in this area. 
Reminds me of when I was in Corning, California. Tell you something about big rig drivers. They are some of the best drivers in the world. People are kind of bugged by them just because their vehicles are so big. But man, if you spend time riding on the open road with these guys, believe me, you learn fast that they know what they're doing. That's another thing about these street glides and even the road glides. You gotta be careful not to go too fast because they're so smooth and comfortable, you know? And again, I don't know if it's my height, but the handlebars out of the factory, and I'm sure they're a little different, um, always fit me well. I always like to mention that I'm 5'8", I got about a 31 um, inch inseam, and I can flat foot all the cruisers really well. This one has the um, engine guards, what we used to call crash bars when I was growing up. But I guess people don't crash anymore, now they guard. <laughs> I can see why they would do that. Hey, rain's cooperating a little bit. Here we go, Big Rig City. Man, I, you know, again, I, I, this transmission is shifting so smoothly. This has the vents, see that there? It opens and closes it. Oddly enough, I leave it closed, I rarely open it. A um, Couple times on the mainland when it was very hot, I opened that up. Oh my goodness. I know somebody's gotta move that garbage, but being behind a big garbage truck on a motorcycle is not my favorite experience. I'm glad this isn't smell-o-vision. You know, I'm always talking about how the brakes on these brand new bikes that I'm always riding aren't the best and they get better as they break in. But these last few 2018s that I've been riding, the brakes seem really good right out of the box. Okay, let's try to find neutral here. This is always one of my favorite tests. Click, boom, how's that? Just one little heel tap and I'm in neutral. Uh, I really hope this uh, rain isn't messing up the, the camera. I mean, I don't think it's enough to damage it with water, but I'm just a little drips on the lens is what I'm concerned about. So I'm sort of anxious to get under this viaduct. But, any, but the water coming off the fairing might be an issue too. I don't know if you can see it doing that. 2018 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special Anniversary Edition. There it is, Cycle City, Hawaii. You can see the museum up there in the top. I should do a feature on that. A lot of people don't know if it even exists. <sighs> See, this is what I'm riding here normally. So, there's the difference. One's really wet, and one's brand new and not wet. <laughs> All right. 